Yo, what's up guys, welcome back again to another Clash Royale video and today I'll be showing you a deck that I made yesterday on my own and it seems to be working pretty well in Arena 7 and of course in Arenas below Arena 7 and alright, so it's the Witch and the Valkyrie deck, these are the two main troops it also has the Giant to tank, um, the Goblins which are such a great card so they have so much damage, the Barbarians, the Fireball, the Arrows and of course the Minion Horde which works in almost every deck now the average Elixir cost is 4.1, not that expensive, not that cheap either so I'll show you a replay and then we will do two live attacks to show you how to play with this deck alright, so let's get started Alright, so here we go against Manda Panda. Nice name. And as I can see, he has a Royal Giant deck. And I started with a pretty good starting hand. Alright, so what you want to do with this deck is have the Valkyrie and the Giant take all the damage, and then the Witch with the Goblins kill the tower. Alright, so he's pushing my right tower with a baby dragon, some goblins, and a royal giant. Um, pretty big push. Now, I counter it with my minion horde and I'm pushing his left tower with barbarians and a valkyrie. He dropped the furnace with the little fire spirits. So, his tower is about to go down. I fireball, boom, perfect fireball. Got his goblins as well and the furnace. And those minions on the left, on, the, on his right, sorry, tower did some pretty solid damage. Now, he is crying. Um, I got, I destroyed his left tower and his right tower has only uh, 11. No, <laughs> 11, yeah, 1100 uh, health. So, I um, haven't used a giant yet. I'm gonna do it right now. He has a tombstone. Such an annoying card, like I hate this card. Among with the royal giant, it's one of my least favorite cards. And he's pushing my right tower with his hog rider. I countered that with my witch. She spawned those skeletons and killed that hog rider. He did some pretty good damage to my tower though. And now big push coming with the Valkyrie. And dropping those uh, those um, goblins, not that well, I gotta admit, but they did some damage, they destroyed the tombstone, and now Valkyrie and the witch are attacking his tower, it's gonna go down, fireball on the furnace and the tower as well, come on witch, alright, so the witch got the tower, 2-2-0, two, two, and now it's a matter of time to get the 3 crown, let's speed it up, so he's pushing me, I can't read it, pretty effectively. Now, double elixir zone, I'll start the raid right now. So, he's pushing with his royal giant, I let him get my right tower, because I'm preparing a huge push over there. As you can see, Valkyrie, Goblin, Switch, I don't know why he doesn't, like, counter them. He's just pushing my left tower, but anyway, so I have the Barbarians, um, countered his Hog Rider with my Minion Horde, such a great card, I highly recommend using it. So look at all those troops, look at all of them, like two Giants, Barbarians, Minions, Goblins, Witches, whatever, it's a mess, like that's insensible, he's crying, and I do not doubt him at all. Look at that, like that's a huge push, I fireballed because I had nothing else to do, at that point I knew I would get the 3 crown, and look at all those troops, spawning even more Goblins, and boom, there we go with the 3 crown. So, this was the replay, I'll show you to live attacks, alright? So, let's go. So, we're going against Dranath 2001. Alright, so, he's a level 8. Alright, I wish I had the Valkyrie on my starting hand, but that's okay, so I'm gonna wait and see what he's gonna do. Oh shit, he dropped an elixir collector, alright. I'm gonna push hard his uh, left tower, hopefully he doesn't have a fireball, because if he does, I'm <laughs> screwed. Alright, so he didn't have a fireball, he dropped those barbarians, I killed them pretty easily, now goblins coming in, come on, get some, get the tower, I think I can get the tower, no, I just can't, alright, that was stupid, anyway, so, I did some pretty solid damage to the tower, almost got it, alright, so I'm gonna counter the, his minion horde with my arrows, um, solid damage to his left tower, I got it made, alright, so that's very, very good start, so he deployed that goblin hut, alright, I'm going to drop the Valkyrie right there. And then the giant in front of here to tank. Boom. Alright, so now I'm going to drop the witch as well to spawn some skeletons. Alright, so he dropped the barbarians and fireball. So he does have a fireball. Likely he didn't use it before with my huge push. Um, he countered it pretty well. I'll give him a well played. Alright, so many goblins coming to my tower but counter them uh, with my minion horde so I think that minion horde oh no he countered it with his minion horde 
otherwise I would have gotten his tower, but alright, so this raid looks good, 22 seconds until um, double elixir is on, second goblin hat there, <laughs> those goblins literally did nothing to my tower all this time, so I'm gonna drop the valkyrie, I'm just waiting for my elixir to fill, alright, so valkyrie down, 4 seconds till double elixir, let's go, alright, so again, Giant, he spawned a Barbarian Hat, like, why dude? Why do you have a spawner deck? Alright, so, oh shit, he almost missed my Witch. Damn, that was so good. If I had waited one more second, my Witch would be at full health by now. But anyways, huge boost coming with Barbarians, Valkyrie, Minions. I wasted my arrows there, but still, my Barbarians got the tower, there we go. Alright, so this deck is really damn good. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for the Minions to come and fiber all of them. Among with the barbarians, if that's a good idea to boom. Alright, so not that good. Not that good. He almost got my tower. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna push for the three crown. No, I don't have time. Should I let him get here the tower? Nah, I'm not gonna let him. So, uh, arrows down. 10 seconds left. He's not gonna do it. That's a win. Boom, fireball down. <laughs> So, let's drop the fireball. Oh, the time is over. Alright, so, this was the attack. I hope you understood the combos and stuff. I'll do one more live attack to show you guys even more combos. So, yeah, let's get straight to it. So, we're going against Simply from the clan TS1. Alright, he's a level 9. And I'm gonna drop the... I'm gonna see what he's gonna do. Oh, Pekka. Alright, alright. So he wasted his elixir, <laughs> he said oops, yeah, because I'm pushing the other side and that's not that good for him, because he's at like, he, he, he wasted too much elixir for just a peck and now he can't defend, so my Valkyrie, come on, alright, so the giant is in front of the Valkyrie, gonna tank for her, um, I'm gonna drop the minion her to counter that P.E.K.K.A, although she will get a hit, maybe two, on my tower, but look at that push, the witch, did some pretty solid damage. Alright, so um, my tower has 1200 health, his has uh, 1600. So, yeah, well played. And alright, so a witch alone cannot do uh, good damage to a tower. Like, no. <laughs> you have to have something with her to do some damage. Anyway, so, he dropped the Elixir Collector, of course, because he has an expensive deck with the P.E.K.K.A and stuff. He might even have a mini P.E.K.K.A, I don't know, we'll see. So, I'm gonna drop the Witch among the Valkyrie and the Barbarians, big push coming there. Ah, that Witch is killing my Barbarians. Alright, so double Witch, he mirrored his Witch, what? Alright, so Fireball on the Witch, come on Witch, get his tower. Ah, uh, it's not gonna happen. Almost killed it. Oh, come on. All right. 670 health left on his tower. 15 seconds until um, double elixir is on. He dropped the P.E.K.K.A. Again from the from that side. All right. So, um, now that double elixir is gonna start, he might mirror his P.E.K.K.A. He has a mirror, right? So, that's not good. Um, what should I do? Yeah, I'm gonna drop the Barbarians to counter the P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, he dropped double um, Collector, so that's not at all good. Alright, Minion her down and Valkyrie, boom, perfect, kill his um, P.E.K.K.A. And as I said before, he does have a mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh my god. Come on, get the tower, get the tower, boom, there we go. Alright, so this deck is pretty good. I got it, mate, try it out. I, I suppose you have all these cards because no legendaries in it. You must have all those cards, like nothing too special. Like the only epic card in this deck is the Witch. Which makes it a pretty good deck for everyone to use in arenas uh, until like up to arena 7. So there we go with the win. He gave us a well played. Thanks. Boom. There we go. Second uh, consecutive win. It's a good deck, right? So guys, uh, make sure you test it out and tell me um, how it works in your arena. I don't know if it will work in Arena 8, in Legendary Arena, because I haven't tried it uh, haven't tried it yet, of course. 
So this is the deck, Valkyrie, Giant, Witch, uh, Goblins, Minion Horde, Arrows, uh, Fireball and the Barbarians. I could have upgraded them as well, like imagine if they were like one level uh, above the one I have it right now. Anyway, so this is the deck again, 4.1 Elixir, make sure you test it out and tell me how you did with it. And yeah, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe and leave a like down below if this video helped you at all, like getting a new deck and getting some wins. And yeah, see ya in the next one. And I'm still the same and I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing.